is the Pro Football Chase Podcast, a podcast that has featured interviews with Rams wide receiver Robert Woods. 300,000 yards, um, and you know, last year, unfortunately, I got hurt mid, midway in the season, but other than that, just just working and grinding to, to get to this point, and uh, probably broke it with a lot of games left. Packers wide receiver Marquez Valdez Scantling. Uh, just the fact that we got a, you know, uh, all pro on the other side of the ball. Um, and Devontae. Um, so when you got a guy like that, you know, that's just going to get the main focus. Um, obviously, you know, people start to know my name a little bit after I made a few plays here and there. Broncos offensive guard Ronald Leary. It would either have to be a counter or a pin and pull play when we get on the edge and run. Uh, I think it's always impressive when big guys can get out that stance and move and hit somebody. So. And rising stars Dalton Risner, Charles Amenahu, and Jawan Williams. This is a podcast that offers player perspectives from some well-decorated veterans, including T.J. Hushman Zada. And people will say, oh, well, is that Chris got a franchise quarterback? Uh, look, look at his record, does it? It tells you he is. Oh, he has a great defense. He has his E.J. Kirelli. You tell me a quarterback in the entire NFL that's not time break that does more with that. Game previews, recaps, and analysis. Turn the volume up. The chase is on, and the chase is live. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome into the Pro Football Chase Podcast. It's Isaac Signs with you. Joining me for an interview today is Alabama outside linebacker Anthony Jennings, so, Anthony, thanks for joining me. How are you doing today? I'm doing good, man. Uh, you know, doing good. Uh, thank you for having me. Not a problem, man. A big fan of your game at Alabama. And so let's go ahead and talk a little bit about your college career. You redshirted your freshman season, and then you went on to play your freshman redshirt, sophomore redshirt, junior redshirt, senior redshirt seasons there in Tuscaloosa. What can you say about the football program and the impact it's had on you? Oh uh, man, you know, I got uh, I can say a lot about it, but you know the the demand for excellence every day, and you know the competition level that we play with here at Alabama. Uh, you know, you know made me the person I am today, and it definitely made me a a great person on and off the field. Uh, you know, it challenged me mentally and physically. So you know, that was good uh, in the long run, and you know I appreciate my time here. And for me, you were honored as one of four permanent team captains in 2019. What did that mean to you? I meant a lot uh, to be voted on by, uh, you know, your peers, your, your teammates, uh, something like that. Uh, you know, that's very significant for me, and, you know, it means a lot. You capped off your final season at Alabama as an all-SEC first-team selection by both the league coaches and the Associated Press finishing fourth in the conference with eight sacks. You also added eight quarterback pressures, five pass breakups, and one forced fumble. What makes you such a dominant edge rusher? Uh, man, you know, just being able to do a lot of different things. Uh, you know, I said I can, you know, set the edge at a good, at a high level, uh, drop back in the coverage, and rush the pass on, um, you know, down. So, you know, I can I can play a 310. I can step back and play inside. But I can, you know, I can do a lot of different things at a high level. So, you know. Just me being versatile and me being able to move around on the field, you know, that's something that, you know, sets me apart from a lot of different guys. And speaking on your versatility, Anthony, you totaled 12 and a half tackles for loss, a number that tied for third in the SEC to go along with 83 tackles. So talking about your run-stopping ability, do you feel comfortable playing the run at both the inside and outside linebacker positions? No doubt, you know, me, me being a, a physical uh, football player, you know, loving the contact and all that kind of stuff, being able to use my hands and, you know, just being able to pick plays apart and uh, anticipate plays, you know, that, that really helped my game a lot. So, you know, I feel like I can make plays at, at every level of the defense, uh, you know, uh, inside back or, or on the edge or three technique or five technique, whatever you, whatever you need, man, man, you know, I can make plays. Uh, you know, that's something I pride myself on, on stopping a run, being physical at point of attack, and setting edges. Uh, you know, that's it. 
Talk about the highly touted Nick Saban. I know you mentioned the culture there at Alabama a little bit. How has he specifically helped prepare you for the NFL? Uh, each and every day. Uh, you know, the, the being on a routine, being uh, you know, having your schedule, having you some a foundation uh, of what type of player you want to be. Um, you know, just showing up every day to demand for action, like I said, and you know, just the competition level. You got to bring your A game each and every day. Um, you gotta, you gotta be ready to go, and you know, you just gotta be ready to do your job each and every day. So that's something I really, you know, can can take with me forever you know, in the long run, and you know, just discipline and stuff like that. Discipline, uh, you know, being tough and uh, all that kind of stuff. Stuff you really can't teach, uh, or you can teach discipline, but being tough and stuff like that, you know. So like they can take with you every day. So you know, I, I thank you and I appreciate this program forever. Anthony, you were selected to play in the 2020 Senior Bowl in Mobile, Alabama, and were coached by Zach Taylor and the Bengals staff. What was that experience like? Uh, it was good, man. It was, it was fun, you know, being able to um, build uh, a lot of great players in the country, great college players in the country, uh, you know, uh, being around like that coaching staff and you know see how they do things in the organization uh and just having the chance to go out there and compete at a high level uh you know i i, I didn't take it for granted and you know i'm thankful for it and for me what type of study habits do you possess uh, i pride myself on being a student of the game you know continue to learn each and every, each and every opportunity i get you know uh uh, my my schedule like during the season, you know, I, I I I'm constantly carrying my iPad around, you know, last season and stuff like that. But I only look for that to get better, and you know, what I'm saying I, I it really ain't no lot time and I can put on it right now. Uh, you know, I'm I'm very intrigued with you know learning offenses and learning what they do, uh, the tendencies, all kind of things. Uh, you pick up while you studying somebody an, an opponent, but yeah, man, just keep getting better and keep working my ass off. You were invited to the NFL Combine in Indianapolis as well. I don't think you worked out, right? Uh, I worked out. I just didn't do the uh, the, the testing stuff, like the, the 40, the, the jumps, and the bench. Gotcha. And so you were able to meet with teams as other prospects did as well. So how did that process go for you, and Fernie? What was your main message to all the NFL executives that were wanting to know more about your character? Uh, you know, just let them know what type of, uh, you know, guy I am, and what I like to do. Um, and, you know, just let them know that, uh, I mean, they watch the film. They see, the, uh, you know, that I, I I played a lot of football uh, at a high level. Uh, you know, I made a lot of different plays at different positions on the field. And, you know, I'm one of the most versatile linebackers in this job. And, you know, just let them know that I'm a, I'm a type of dude that you want on your team. Uh, I'm a winner. Uh I'm a, a good example, a uh, great leader on and off the field. Uh, and you know, somebody's going to work hard and, you know, do the, the, do things right in your organization. Uh, somebody's going to pass it down and, you know, be a leader for you. Uh, you know, just really, just let them know who I am. Now, Alabama, they moved its pro day from March 24th to April 9th due to the coronavirus outbreak. How have you been preparing for that? Uh, well, I'm in Tuscaloosa. I still been, you know, training when I could, uh, where I could. Uh, so you know, just doing going about it like that, and hopefully getting more news on it uh, soon. And you know, just you know, praying for the uh, praying for this stuff to you know get better, and you know, just have more answers and you know more guidance right now, and you know, just make the most of it. Now, Ann Fernie, do you have a favorite? linebacker or edge rusher that plays in the NFL right now? Uh yeah, I mean I watch I watch a lot of different guys. Um, uh, you know, I, I I watch a lot of, you know, uh Khalil Mack stuff, uh Melvin Ingram, a lot of a lot of different guys. I watch older older clips, uh like Ray Lewis and, you know, the thing the things they did and, you know, just whoever I can, you know, pick and, you know, take some from, I always try to you no, know, I ain't. I ain't just looking at one person. I always try to look at a lot of different guys because it's a lot I gotta learn. Now, Anthony, do you have any preference as to where you may land in the draft, or are you just open minded to it all? No, I don't got any preference. I'm just, you know, going about it, and you know, just put my best foot forward and, and working my ass off. 
Well, Anthony, man, I'm a big fan of yours. You had immense production at Alabama your entire college career. I know big things are in store for you as the NFL draft comes up in April. So keep up the great work, man, and I'm going to continue to root for you. I appreciate it, bro. Blessings. Yeah, no problem.